folks, this is Juan from Design for Ventures, a long time no seeing. Today I'm going to show you how you can make this uh, really easy uh, inside of Keyshape uh, using uh, a product that I'm going to release very soon that is free for everyone, anyone uh, to use and abuse and yeah, you know. Okay, let's dive right in. Yes, so what I have done is I took Roboto Bold uh, and did the A to Z alphabet uh, with uppercase, lowercase, and special characters and numbers. Uh, I'm doing this, I'm not ready yet. Uh, exported everything as separate SVGs. Uh, and then in key shape, I have animated uh, uppercase characters and lowercase characters. So, for example, this is D, and uh, you have a few here. Uh, da, 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 like that. And then we have uh, the lowercase. We have them here, a couple of them, all of them actually, but you understand. Um, painstakingly animated these ones. Did a stroke dash offset animation, which is really nice and easy to do. But of course, this took took some time, so. I'm going to, I thought that I could release this for you guys so that you don't need to do this. And then when you have all of this, then you can just start creating words, animated words. Like that. You just copy paste each character. Uh, it's good to have the grid on here. Uh, like that. You can change the color here to something lighter uh, so you see the words. Uh, and when you are finished with this, right now this loops uh, like that. Uh, it animates like this and then it starts over again. This is for the demo page purpose. Uh, you can of course just do like that, take that away, take away, boom. And it just animates once and then that's it. So when you're happy with this, you just export it as SVG, Keyshape JS animation, which is the format supported by most browsers. Uh, it's it has really great support, actually. Uh, you export it, your word, something else, whatever. And then you need to open it up in a and an editor, code editor, or text editor, and blah blah blah, reload. You need to take away these two things, the two, two first lines, this XML version 1 point, that's, you don't need that crap. And then something you really need to do, this is you need to set the width and the height to 100%, 100% and 100%. For some weird reason, key shapes export uh, these ones really small because I think it's because I have animated all of these separately and these document sizes are it's uh, the document size is 128 by 128 for that one uh, so if you don't want to get this kind of weird really small thing here you just go after export and just put 100% there and 100% there and height. That's it. It's easy. Then you just copy this and you just paste it into your preferred uh, website editor or whatever. Uh, I use Rapid Weaver and here you can do really neat stuff with a stack called Blueprint SVG. So I just paste this into here 
all this code is here and then I did some things here also I put everything to be percentage so all the units are percent and it's the same size everywhere 100 100 100 and it's center 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 so when you preview this you will get this amazing thing here not this one but this one yeah boom and this is really nice because it's you should do like this you can just scale this to one four one four like this boom and let's export this again adventure test Yes, we will overwrite that, so we will need to do this thing here. Here, again. 100% and 100%. And you just copy in here. And just take that way and just paste this one. And this is, I'm going to show you something interesting here. Exactly. You see, I already have an A here animating. And where is the A here? Yeah, it's there. But the thing is, if you have uh, uh, animated SVGs like this, with where the paths have the same name, uh, then you're in for some trouble. Because this is the same A that I am using here. It's the same source. So you need to uh, rename that one. So we go into key shape and we see that. What is this one called? It's called uh, the big A. The is Roboto A animated. So I just copy this one and just go into my editor and let's find that one. So it's there and there. It's in two places. So let's rename this to maybe Roboto A two, uh, like that. And let's just copy paste this code again. Take that away. Put the new one in. And now, my friends, like magic. Ta da! It's there. A, A. So, this is really important to uh, remember. It works, as you see, in the same composition. It's no problem to have the same letters, but if you have another one here, uh, something happens. So that's a workaround for it. It's a solution actually for it. So that's it. It's all for me. Thank you. Uh, I'm working to releasing this as soon as possible. Have a great one. Cheers. Nothing in your education.